Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever been more into a guy, then he's into you to the point where you start hating yourself for it, but you can't seem to stop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to once and for all stop being ignored, undervalued, overlooked, and passed over by men who can't appreciate your true value. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BurnMendez.com. If you'd like to learn how to attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now to be notified of new episodes as they come out. One of the most painful things you can experience as a woman is either not being attractive to anyone or being attracted to a guy who gives you crumbs, who gives you the burn minimum, or you're into him more than he's into you. Why? Because it's gonna lower your self-worth, it's gonna make you waste time, it's gonna make you put off opportunities with other men that could have become great partners, but because you think this guy is it, you're not giving him the time of day, and then he ends up not showing up, he ends up not committing, he ends up treating you with as less than you deserve, and you end up feeling heartbroken. So my goal today in this video is to show you how to once and for all put an end to that, you're more into a guy than he's into you and you hate it or you've done that in the past and you want to prevent that from happening again, this video is for you. There's three conditions that need to align and take place for you to enter a relationship or a dating situation where you're more into a guy than he's into you. And if you understand what they are, you can begin to change them. The first one is you need to have a feeling of scarcity. When you think that what's available for you is the absolute unicorn <laughs> in this world, when you think it's so challenging, then more likely than not, you're going to lower your standards to be able to get something. And when a guy shows up and he's not as into you as you want him to be, then you're gonna just take that because your brain in that moment is making the decision. Do I connect with someone who's giving me at least something or face the void of my experience without anyone and many times your brain without even consulting with you says well this is better than nothing and in reality long term it's not the case but if you're not aware of it you'll make decisions that way number two is you need to have for this to take place a lower self-worth than i recommend and lower self-worth because when you really know your value and your worth you don't take someone who's not really stepping up and showing up for you and the third thing that needs to align for you not to create the same level of attraction that you have with someone back to you is a lack of strategy. Why? Because you can be an intelligent and you can be a brilliant, self-expressed woman. If you don't have the right strategy, then you're going to waste time with guys. That first step you need to step into if you want to reverse the situation, take your power back and start being appreciated, valued and looked at someone who's worthy of time and energy for men is you need to dare to become the exception and you need to dream again. Here's what I mean. Everything you see around you that matters from YouTube, which is started by somebody's dream to maybe the airplane you took last week uh, to go somewhere that back in the day would have taken you weeks or months walking or by horse, whether it's a car that you're driving, whether it's electric or a gas car, uh, anything, this video, uh, anything that's adding value to your life was created by someone who didn't see that something existed and said, I'm going to be the exception and create something that doesn't exist before and add value that way. So in that same vein, you need to say, I'm going to go for something that's different from what most women around me perhaps are getting, which is painful relationships. Uh, if you look at statistics and you look at most, most marriages that end up in divorce and those that don't end up in divorce are not necessarily the best marriages either. So you need to say, I am willing to be the exception, not because I deserve to be the exception, but because I'm willing to learn and take the steps necessary to create that. The reason why I'm saying you need to dream again is because you will not change your behavior and learn new skills and risk in ways that you haven't risked before, that are smarter perhaps, but still risks nonetheless, if you don't have a huge juicy dream that you're doing that for. If your dream is just to get something, just a guy who's kind of excited about you, you're not going to do what it takes to create that because it's not exciting enough. So rather, I'd rather you have a big dream and really go for it uh, and do more for that dream than, than you would have otherwise. Number two is you need to people cleanse. One of the things that needs to happen is your worth needs to start raising again. And there's probably people in your life right now, if your worth is low, that don't treat you the way you deserve to be treated, who minimize you, who belittle you, who demean you, who don't treat you with respect. And two things need to happen. You either need to step up and start setting boundaries in such a way that if those things don't change, 
you don't hang out with those people anymore or if they can't I mean, if you know they're the kind of people who don't listen to boundaries and who just want to be in your life to tell you how it is, but not necessarily have it both ways, then you need to eliminate them from your life or radically reduce your contact with them. It's really hard for you to expect a man to show up with enthusiasm and pursuit and to treat you with respect when other people in your life don't. So you need to send that message to the universe. I'm willing to cut off ties with human beings who don't treat me with respect so that I can create something with someone where I'm in alignment with my integrity. Number three is you need to start dialing up your light. You need to turn on your light brighter and bigger so that you can have more options. You can attract better men into your life and you can make a much stronger impact on first contact uh, with someone. What do I mean by that? Well, it's really important to have high hopes and boundaries but if you have high hopes and boundaries and you're not following up with something that makes guys want to step through those hoops and actually play by those rules and boundaries that you're enforcing, then you're going to have a, you're going to be a high value woman all on your own and no one's going to be connecting with you. So dialing up your life means committing to the boring sometimes and the tedious and the disciplined efforts that it takes for you to feel alive. And that means exercise, movement, anything that helps your brain with blood flow, that means volunteering, that means things that make you feel fulfilled, um, things that create that sense of spark and aliveness in you. And sometimes those things are not fun to do. But by you doing them, you create more options, you create a different level of energy and excitement. It's all energy. At the end of the day, you want things and guys want things, but if the spark isn't there, if the connection isn't there, if the attraction isn't there, you're gonna have to, it's like climbing Everest with no oxygen and with a blindfold and with your arm ties behind your back. It's theoretically doable, but who wants to do it, right? Now, before I go into steps four and seven, I wanna make an invitation to you. If you're watching this video and you're single, there's a high probability that you're not sure what the real root cause of why you're single is. And what I've done is I've taken years of helping hundreds of women around the world to create this result personally and put them into a quiz that you can take in about 60 seconds and figure out what's the number one reason why you're still single and then a solution for it. So all you have to do if you want to know the answer as to why you're still single is go to the first link of the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this, answer a few simple questions, and in about 60 seconds, you'll have in your hands a report that shows you the number one reason you're still single, and beyond that, what is the number one step you can take today based on your specific situation to change that dynamic? Step number four is you need to raise one standard as, you, as it relates to men. The number one standard you need to raise is have a guy who is into you, a guy who is proactive, a guy who is pursuant, a guy who's excited to move things forward as your highest standard. Here's what I mean. So women have lots of standards in terms of a guy. He needs to be tall, strong, intelligent. He needs to be sensitive. He needs to be uh, an action taker. He needs to be ambitious. He needs to be doing well in his career. I mean, those are great things to watch out for. However, all those things are absolutely worthless if the first standard, him being into you, isn't there. So if you raise that standard, you will eliminate so much time wasting your life because you won't be going for guys that you have to beg for their attention and their interest. And if you have the awareness of how to bring your energy more into the world, then you'll have more options. So you won't have to beg for their affection. Step number five is you need to take this one step further and start investing in men based on their actions, not your feelings for them. So many women connect with men, give them so many hall passes, metaphorically speaking, and give them so many breaks because they feel strongly connected to them, not based on what the guy is doing, but based on his looks, based on the projected vision of what this guy could be in their life, not the reality of what this guy is in their life. So a guy who's empathetic, a guy who's kind, a guy who's amazing, unless he is investing in you, he's not really worth your time. Number six is you need to have the courage to have the talk. 
I spoke about the other first other steps first because I think that it's hard to have the conversation with someone when you're not feeling worthy. It's hard to have the conversation when you have, you're surrounded by people who think less of you than you really think about yourself. But when you've done the steps, then the next step, if you're in the middle of a situation like this, is you need to come clean, have a conversation with the guy that you're connecting with, saying, hey, listen, I really like you, I appreciate you, I think you're great, and I'm really looking forward to this type of connection in my life right now. I'm looking forward to a guy who's initiating. I'm looking forward to a guy who's excited to see me. I'm looking forward to connecting with someone who's clear about his intentions towards me. And sometimes that feels a little off with you. So if you want to continue connecting with me, I would love for you to show up this way. And if you don't, that's totally understandable, totally cool. I'm just not in. Now, there's multiple ways of sharing this in your own words, but the gist of it is I'm inviting you to step up. Here's what I'm looking for. If you want to match it, great. If you don't want to match it, then that's cool. You just won't get what you're getting right now. You won't get all my time and energy in this way when you're not doing the same thing. Number seven, super important step is you have to be willing to walk away. So many women go all the way to step number six and then the guy says, well, I'll do a little bit better and then they don't and then you're still with them for six months or a year. If the guy isn't showing up stronger, if the guy isn't really taking what you're saying, the boundary you're setting, as a springboard to change his tune and to be more enthusiastic in his pursuit for you, then you need to walk away. Because when you walk away, two things will happen. One, your heart will hurt a little bit because you'll miss this guy, even though he's not really adding that much value to your life. Uh, but number two, you'll give an opportunity to other guys who, because you don't have the time-wasting energy with him, you'll be more open to them. Maybe not day number one, but in a short amount of time after you cut ties, you'll start feeling more able to connect with other men. Hope this is helpful and useful. Again, if you want to understand the number one reason why you're single, make sure to hold the, go to the first link and take that free quiz. In 60 seconds, you'll know the answer. Uh, if you enjoy this video, click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, if you like what I'm saying, if you want my hand holding and help to get what you want in a fraction of the time, then second link will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home, into your phone, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.